In this video, I'll show you how to connect your Canon PIXMA MJ2525 or 2522 or even other models that look similar to a PC Windows computer. In my case, I'm running Windows 10, but it's similar with other Windows as well. So let's get started right away. In the box, they give you this CD that has the driver that makes this printer works with your computer. But since many computers like mine don't have any CD, drivers, CD players, well, we'll have to get the driver from the Canon website. So I'll show you how. So the first step, you need to go on usa.canon.com. Okay, once you're on this site, you need to go in support. Then you need to start typing here the product name. So in our case is the Canon MJ. In my case, it's 2525. In yours, it may be 2522. Just enter your model name here. And you should see it appearing in this list. I'll press on mine. Then from here, you're going to go down until you see software and driver. Click on it. Here, make sure that Windows is selected. If not, just click on it. Just click and you'll have a list and you should select Windows. Make sure that your version of Windows is the correct one. In my case, it is. It's Windows 10, but it works with 11, 8 and even older ones like Vista 7. And then you just have to scroll down until you see driver over here for Windows and click on the download button. Once it's downloaded, open the file. If English is not your first language and you prefer doing it in your own language, you just click here and you can change this. If not, click next. Then select in which um, region you're located. Click yes. Now we have to wait a bit. On this step, you'll need to take the USB cable that came with your printer and connect it to the computer. So I'll put this end in the USB port of my computer like this. And the other end, the printer on the back should have right over here on the right side a port you see it yep this is the usb port so you're gonna take your cable you're gonna align it and you're gonna make sure it's connected and now it worked and the installation is now completed. Okay, so I'll press the complete button here. And the driver is installed on your PC Windows computer. Now I'm going to go in the start button here. Then settings. Then you're going to go in devices. Printer, printers and scanners. And you should see the printer over here, MJ2500 series. Just click on it. You can click on manage. And from here, you can print a test page to see if it's working. You can run a troubleshooter if you have problems with your printer. But what I want to show you here is if you click over here, the first drop down menu, you can access the scanner function. So you'll be able to scan using your Windows computer. So let me just show you how it works quickly. So I'll select it and I will click on open scanner. If you don't see this, it will ask you to download the scanner app from the Windows store. Do it. It's really worth it. This way you'll be able to use the scanner very quickly. So I'll open scanner. 
And now let's put a sheet of paper here on the scanner just to demonstrate. Okay, let's say I want to scan this uh, small sheet of paper. I'll open the scanner like this. I'll put the page facing down, the part that I want to scan, and I will align it with this arrow over here. So I'll push the paper until it touches this corner like this. Then I can close the scan lid. And over here, you'll have many options. Tap on show more. Okay, so you can choose what type of file you want to uh, make with this scan. It could be a JPEG, also PDF. These are my favorites. Let's say JPEG. You can say if you want it in color or not and resolution, which is very important because tap on it. If you're scanning a picture, you want the highest number. So it has the more details, 600. But if it's just a, a text, sheet of paper 300 is plenty so just keep it at 300 and finally here it will ask you where do you want the file to be saved by default is desktop click on it you can choose any other folder that is uh, on your computer if you prefer that i'll keep it on the desktop select folder and now you can tap on preview which will not save the scan. It will just give you a preview so you can rearrange it or change some settings if you're not satisfied. Or you can press scan and this will save the scan. Let me press on it. Usually it takes just a few seconds. If you choose resolution DPA 600, it will take even a minute or more to do the scan since it's uh, scanning a lot of details. But for 300, usually it's about 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Here we go. When you're done, you're gonna see he, over here, scan was saved to desktop. You can tap to view it. You can also just go on the desktop itself to view it, but we'll press here and it will open and Perfect. This is exactly what we just scanned. It looks perfect. Let me zoom in. Everything is very visible. You see at 300, 300 DPI is plenty for just text. So this is how you scan using uh, your printer. Now let me show you how to print. So let's say I want to print the file I just scanned. But obviously you can print any file and even pictures without any problems. So I have open it. And then to print any documents that you can see, you can just hold control and then press P. So like this, and this will open, asking you to choose your printer. Make sure that Canon MJ2500 series is selected here. If not, just click and select it from the list. Once you're done, just click on the print button here. But before doing that, make sure that you have paper inserted. And also make sure that your paper tray is fully extended. This is where the paper will go. And then you can press the print button. you may get this message, okay? That is print head alignment has not been carried out after installing or replacing your ink cartridge. You can do the printing alignment or you can just press the start printing and skip this. The printer will start working. You can gonna hear it. And uh, since it's just a text file, it's, uh, it, it's only gonna take a few seconds to print. If you're printing pictures, obviously it will take more time than what you're seeing right now. So this is how you connect your Canon PIXMA MJ2525 or 2522 to your PC Windows computer to be able to print but also scan. I hope this video was useful. If so, please leave a like, also a comment down below. Check the links in the description. Subscribe and I will see you in the next one.